his word. Let me lead you in a word of prayer. Father God, we want to thank you for who you are. Because you alone, you are our God. Father, thank you for loving us. Thank you for giving us the gift of life. And Father, we thank you even beyond for life eternal that you gave to us through your son, Jesus Christ. And now, Lord, here we are, we come to your word. We thank you because you are going to speak to us. Father, we come with our weaknesses. But we come to the throne of grace. But we come to the throne of forgiveness. But we come to the throne of love. Father, may you speak to us. May you give us a listening ear. And Father, may you enable us to apply this message to our lives. These things we do ask in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. This afternoon we have read the parable of the prodigal son. And uh, many of us may find ourselves in a situation similar to that of a prodigal son. We've heard that the prodigal son asked for all his inheritance. And uh, probably you and I, God has also entrusted us with some inheritance. Things that we yearned for so much that we asked God and God graciously gave them to us. But when God gave us those things that we yearned for so much, we treated them in the same way the prodigal son treated his inheritance. Because this normally happens. When someone is in luck, for instance, if someone is lacking a job, you ask God, and God graciously gives you a job. 